Title, Gorgeous Disaster. 10 Lives Snuffed, 55 Battered as Pilgrimage Bus Makes an Unexpected Dive in Indian Kashmir. TLDR. A pilgrimage to a turned grim roller coaster as a packed bus, filled with Hindu devotees from Bihar, India, plunged into a deep gorge in Indian Kashmir. The accident claimed at least 10 lives and left 55 injured. But wait, was the bus just exploring some new route, or were there darker undercurrents? Let's dive into the chilling tale. May 30, 2023, a day marked by tragedy and chaos. Hindu devotees from Baha, traveling to the highly revered shrine of Vishnu Devi and Katra, faced a drastic detour. Instead of continuing on the highway bridge, their bus decided to test the depth of a Himalayan gorge near Jammu. The plunge was fatal for at least 10 passengers while leaving 55 with injuries, some severe. One would think the rules of gravity apply to everyone, but this bus had other plans. With more passengers than it should have been carrying, according to the local police officer Chandan Kohli, it seems the bus was trying to defy the laws of physics. But who's to blame here, the bus, the driver, or the overloaded passenger count? Locals and authorities sprung into action and launched a rescue operation. The wounded are now receiving treatment at local hospitals. It's inspiring to see the community come together in the face of disaster, isn't it? This incident brings light to a haunting reality. India, home to diverse cultures, religions, and roadways, has some of the highest road death rates globally. With hundreds of thousands killed or injured annually, should we just blame it on reckless driving, poorly maintained roads, and aging vehicles, or should we start questioning the system? Disclaimer, this is news, not advice. Do not consider it as a recommendation or endorsement for or against any course of action. We are not liable for any consequences that may arise from the use of this information. Now, this brings us to the million-dollar question. While we send our heartfelt condolences and wishes for a swift recovery to those affected, how can India curb its tragically impressive road death statistics? Is it time to check the brakes, or do we need to hit the gas on a total roadway revolution? What do you think?